What if I told you there is an AI system right now that can take whatever you describe to it and it will take that text and turn it into a realistic image of exactly what you described? So you type a raccoon playing tennis at Wimbledon in the 1990s and in less than 10 seconds it creates a brand new image of a raccoon playing tennis. You type photo of an oversized grizzly bear crypto bro trying on a shirt at H&M. And boom, there is an image of a bear trying on a shirt. You type illustration of Wally in the style of Salvador Dali. And boom, my God, it's an illustration of Wally in the style of Salvador Dali. And it is not just one. It creates 10 different versions across a spectrum of variations in any art style you want. If you can describe it, it can draw it. In this video, we will look at this AI, how it can turn simple text descriptions into realistic images in under 10 seconds and 10 of its most impressive illustrations. It gets even better, as we will see what this AI thinks it looks like. Spoiler alert, it appears to be cuddly. The company behind this impressive AI is OpenAI, which was co-founded by Elon Musk, Altman, Greg Brockman, Wojciech Zaremba, John Schulman, and Ilya Sutskever back in 2015. In June 2020, OpenAI created GPT-3, a magical AI that could finish your sentences and generate website layouts from a written description. A few months later, scientists at OpenAI thought that if they could complete sentences, why not try to complete images too? And that's how Image GPT was born. Initially, Image GPT was given incomplete images and was asked to fill in the missing pixels. Given this image, the AI understood that these three birds are likely standing on something. The AI was able to complete the image and had several ideas as to what the birds could be standing on. For each variation, the AI adapted to the object the birds would be standing on. It even created realistic reflections when standing in water. But then, the scientists at OpenAI thought, why not have the user enter a text description and get them a really well done image of exactly what they describe? This is how DALE was born. There are two main AI technologies behind DALE 2. They are called Clip and Diffusion. Clip is the part that matches images to text and uses that match to train computers to understand concepts and images. So when you ask the AI to generate an image of a raccoon playing tennis at Wimbledon in the 1990s, it knows what a raccoon is and knows what the concept of playing tennis means and knows what images in the 1990s looked like. And most impressively, it knows what's an aesthetically pleasing image to humans. So it can create a completely new visual version of this idea that has not been created before. Clip doesn't have the ability to create high resolution images by itself. This is where diffusion comes in. By teaching a computer to corrupt an image by adding Gaussian noise, it can then learn to uncorrupt or enhance an image by removing that noise. DALE 2 is the most advanced AI we have ever seen. Ever since the conception of AI, art has been one of the fields that AI has not overtaken or even managed to get a stronghold of. But DALE 2 has shown impressive results, dominating any other player in the game. So, what can it do? By the end of this video, the most appropriate question will be, what can't it do? DALE 2 can take descriptions, aka prompts that are so specific and turn them into realistic images. Here are 10 of our favorite photos by Dali 2. Number 10. A monkey head that is only made out of fruit. This would be very challenging for professional graphic designers or artists, but the Dali 2 has pulled it off. The art style is minimalistic, as the input description does not demand much background information. The AI understands that the main subject is a monkey face made of fruits. Number 9 the cover of a cyberpunk romance novel. It is impressive to see that Dali 2 understands the concept of romance, and the fact that it was able to generate the image in a cyberpunk style is amazing. Number 8. Photo of a human that doesn't exist. 
Even though we can't really verify that this is a face of a human that does not exist, it is still impressive that Dali 2 can generate never seen human faces that are so realistic. Number 7. Leonardo Enters the Metaverse Amazing painting by Dali. What is impressive about this image is the style Dali 2 chose to present the image. Number 6. Early designs of the iPhone by Leonardo da Vinci. Dali understands that early designs of the iPhone by Leonardo da Vinci would be presented on an old manuscript paper with the drawing slightly fading. This goes to show how much Dali understands the world. The descriptions get even more creative. Number 5. A photo of an electric guitar made entirely out of pizza. Look at the level of detail in this illustration. It almost looks like this pizza is real. Also, I don't know if Dali added french fries to this photo to make it look more aesthetic or if it thinks pizza and fries make a great combo. Number 4. A photo of a confused raccoon in computer programming class. This photo is so realistic that Dali 2 even thought of focusing on the raccoon's face and blurring the background. We can get very specific with Dali 2, and it doesn't disappoint. Number 3. Oil painting portrait of the Regal Burger King posing with a Whopper. Not only did Dali draw the Regal Burger King posing with a Whopper, but it also adapted to the specific drawing style and still generated an aesthetically pleasing illustration. The prompts can get even more specific. Number 2. A propaganda poster depicting a cat dressed as French Emperor Napoleon holding a piece of cheese. Now that is very specific, and yet Dali 2 can still pull it off. Look at the color selection on this drawing, the level of detail, and the shadows on its clothes. It is truly amazing. Number 1. A 1960s yearbook photo with animals dressed as humans. This image is a true work of art. Dali 2 understands that an image from the 1960s would most likely be black and white. Notice the facial expressions on these animals' faces. One might think this is a real photo. Which one is your favorite out of the 10? Comment down below some prompt ideas that you want us to try and see what Dali 2 will generate. Dali 2 does not only generate photos from descriptions, it can also be used to edit existing images. For example, you can tell Dali to replace a dog in a photo with a cute cat, or ask it to give Mona Lisa a mohawk, and in a few seconds, it will do that. It can also be used to place objects in an existing photo. You can add furniture in a photo, and Dali will make sure to get shadows and reflections of the new object right, depending on where the light is coming from. Dali 2 is a great tool that will help people express themselves visually in ways they may not have been able to before. And also, Dali helps humans understand how AI systems see and understand our world. This is critical in developing AI that is useful and safe. While the images generated by Dali are impressive, the AI is not perfect. Dali 2 sometimes struggles to understand the text and produces images that are not always accurate to the description. Dali seems to struggle the most with generating images that have specific words in them, like when Dali was asked to generate a sign that says, Beware of the dog. The image generated doesn't say, Beware of dogs. Here's another one, a sign that says, Burger King. All the three images generated have incorrect spelling. This goes to show how much progress Dali still needs to become perfect. There are some other intentional things that Dali cannot do. The library of images that Dali references is massive, but it does not have images of adult content, illegal activity, or violence, so it doesn't create images with that content in it. You can't also ask for imagery of specific identities of people. You can ask for an illustration of a man drinking beer, but you can't ask for Elon Musk drinking beer. And as promised, here's what Dale thinks it looks like. Dale was given the prompt, Dale dreaming of becoming an AGI. From the image generated, Dale looks very soft and cuddly, or at least it wants us to think it is so. And if anyone here speaks AI, please translate the writing on the pillow. Unfortunately, Dali 2 is not available to the general public yet, but if you want to try it, check out the link in the description to join the waitlist.
OpenAI is currently giving access to select a number of individuals to try the AI. And while you wait for approval, leave us a comment of some of the creative prompts you would like us to try, and we will see what Dali generates out of those. If you enjoyed this video, check out our video on whether AI will take your job. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel to help us reach more people with this content. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.